Hearing protection seems to come up more and more as something we need to pay attention to on any job site. Hearing loss is one of those things that happens over time, so it's not always a top priority for younger people. With that being said, we want to put together a quick guide to understanding sound pressure levels and the decibel scale. Sound pressure level, or SBL, is a measurement of sound pressure that uses pascals as its unit of measurement. We typically convert that into the more recognized decibel scale. Sound pressure is the difference between the pressure from a sound wave and the ambient pressure of what the sound is traveling through. The reason sound pressure levels and decibels are so important is that it gives us a numerical scale to work with when we want to prevent hearing loss. When it comes to the sound pressure level, which is what causes the actual damage, it doubles every three decibels and has a magnitude of 10 times every 10 dB. To put that into practice, let's consider a conversation that registers 60 dB on the decibel scale. A louder conversation at 63 decibels has two times the sound pressure level. One at 66 dB has four times the SPL, and a group of people talking at 70 dB would be 10 times the SPL of our original conversation. But when it comes to how loud something sounds, it's a slightly different ballgame. But we can still explain it using the decibel scale. For every 10 decibels you go up, the noise sounds twice as loud. In our previous example, that 70 dB group conversation sounds twice as loud as our initial conversation. Now OSHA defines how much noise you can be exposed to over time. For example, you can work for 8 hours with your ears catching 90 decibels, or you can work for 1 hour at 105 decibels. There's a large variety of hearing protection on the market that lets you work longer without violating OSHA daily limits. When you're shopping for hearing protection, look for the NRR value. That's the noise reduction rating. It tells you just how many decibels the device reduces. So if you're working in an environment that's pretty constant at 105 dB and you use earmuffs with a NRR rating of 25, your ears are only exposed to 80 decibels. It's super simple and it's a crucial lesson that could save your hearing in the long run. Hey, help us out by subscribing to the channel below and tap that bell to get notified when we post new tool reviews and shootouts. And as always, thanks for watching.